Gang, the 2024 Through the Roof Tour is just a few short weeks away. Mm -hmm. Grab up the squad. Come out and see the boys. Stand-up comedy show. Then we play a little AYG with the crowd. Great way to introduce people to the show. Yeah, uh, first leg we got, we got Charlotte, North Carolina, Nashville, Tennessee, Tampa, Florida, and Atlanta, Georgia. Tampa, that is the only show for Florida we have on the book, so if you're in the area, get your tickets. Let's party, areyougarbage.com. Let's go. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they're good to be classy, or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in a new edition. I haven't seen her in a couple of days. Oh, no. Getting a little concerned. Okay. There's a uh, there's a car parked out at the Philadelphia airport with luggage in it. <laughs> She's nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from across the table. It's what we call a family episode over here at Are You Garbage? Just the boys, the bozos, and the homies. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman and the new spokesman for Haribo Gummy Bears. <laughs> Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Shout out to you, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. Oh, yeah. As you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking. Cooking. Then obviously the greatest website of all time. You go over there, oh, yeah. www.patreon.com slash Are You Garbage? Garbage. You go over there, you get up to two ba two bajillion hours worth of content, gang. Uh -huh. You got all sorts of behind the scenes Ooh. stuff. You get hard feelings every week, a bonus AYG every week, all the old videos we've done, and we got Ireland coming up. Got Ireland coming up. You got the trip to Disney World over there. Can't wait to get you, back to the old country, boys. You know what I saw that one of the early videos we did that was so fucking funny? Your first limo ride. Yeah. Remember that? We did for the listener. <laughs> fully never been in a limo. So we just rented a limo, drove around New York City, and got fucked up. Drank fake champagne. <laughs> it was Coors Light. That's <laughs> all so I could get my hands on at the time. I felt like the prom queen in there. Kid be a little handsy later on. <laughs> my dress is over my head. <laughs> my dad dragging me out of the limo. <laughs> get your hands off it. <laughs> He's a good kid. How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the old magic man, makes mm -hmm. us all look good, works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours, he crosses the T's and he dots the I's, and just added to his resume, director, T-Bone McScruffins, Toby McMullen, everybody. I you doing? Got a hit on your hands over there, my friend. Oh, Hollywood's calling. Uh, they're saying Christopher Nolan can kick rocks. Yeah. <laughs> the kid's in town. <laughs> There's a script doctor who needs some coffee. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I can't thank you enough. For the big smash. I can't thank uh, all the bozos, all the homies, everybody that shared it, everybody with the comments, everybody with the messages. Thank you. Thank you so much. Toby, you did a brilliant job, man. You too, I buddy. love you. If you don't know, my uh, first debut... Half hour stand up special is available on the Are You Garbage YouTube page right now, live in Madison. And that's not it. What's that, big guy? Because we got another one coming down the pipeline. Hachi Kippy in the bachi. big room, baby. Look out. <laughs> From the Fillmore in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yes. Kippy's first half hour special is going to be dropping real soon. We're yes. Like, we're like Marvel, filming them back to back. Boom, yeah. Boom. Yeah. Lord uh, of the Rings. Yeah. At the end of the last tour, so we toured all last year. And at the end of the tour, the last handful of shows, we, uh, we each recorded a half hour of stand up comedy. Yes, we we did to put out there on a YouTube page. Mm -hmm. So check it out. You get a little bit of that at the live shows because we each headline, we each, uh, we each do about 25, 30 minutes, and then we do. Uh, are you garbage? With are the you crowd? garbage with the crowd at the end? It's a good fucking time. We're playing a lot of big venues this time. So yeah, we come are. on out, baby. We're gonna need you. <laughs> get your your aunt, your uncle, get your grandma from the nursing home, your peepa. Bought a tour bus for a weekend run. <laughs> We're in deep, it's gang. It's a write-off. <laughs> We're in deep. Come out and see us. But again, Toby, thank you. Unbelievable Toby job. Toby killed it. I can't wait to see uh, Kippies. Congratulations to you. And, and just again, thank thanks, everybody. Just talking about like getting married. Uh, congratulations <laughs> to you. She's a good girl. <laughs> you know, uh, they say uh, absence makes the heart grow fonder. The yeah. whole nine yards. Give me, give me some fucking advice. Boys are cooking, baby. Huh? <laughs> you know about the cup sizes? Huh? You got A, B, uh, yeah, C, and I know D. about the cup sizes. Yeah, but fantastic. The Army of Garbage came through in fucking mm -hmm. numbies, baby. Yeah. Right away. They were we they were in the we you know, we did the YouTube live premiere type thing or whatever it's called. 
And, uh, I mean, fucking thousands of people in there chatting it up. But that thing was fucking fire. It was Loved fun. It. We were all in different spots. I was mm-hmm. in a grocery store freaking out in the cheese aisle. <laughs> yeah. Pacing, dude. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty, it was. <laughs> I was hammered drunk on, it a, was, on a beach in Hawaii. Dude. It was all hammered. hands on deck. I was cranking German heaters on a porch, dude. Just steamrolling them fucking things on borrowed Wi-Fi from the neighbor. Now you know how Churchill and FDR <laughs> felt when the boys hit the beach at Normandy. Yeah, it was fucking... Give me the play-by-play. It was a tightrope, man. Yeah, Luke was the only guy in New York going, we all need to be back in the sink, dude. Everybody was in different time zones. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. But shout out to the fucking Army of Garbage, baby. The best. Uh, we're happy to do these. We're fucking very proud of these put forward so you guys can see them. And uh, we're, we're very excited for the new tour. Yeah. Come see us. I got a question for you. Lay it this on me, Fatty. This happened to me uh, last week. It's more of a, it's a what would you, what do you, what's the etiquette situation? Is what, what, it trashy? What, what would you do? What would you do? Uh, AYG style. So let's say you're out, to, you and the you and the lady, you're out to dinner, you're out to lunch, been there, whatever. Mm-hmm. Somebody pops by the table. Sure, could be you know not a you know close friend, could be an, an, a you know an acquaintance, somebody you see in the building. Okay, whatever. The food just hit the table. Mm-hmm. They walk by. Sure. Hey, what's going on? Get the fuck out of my face. I got mozzarella sticks to get onto, big guy. Good to. See. It's not a situation where it's like, hey, do you want to join us? That's not I'd happening. Never, I would never do that ever. If the food just got dropped. Oh, I would all, say sit, yeah, sit down. That, but, that only happens in TV shows, and you want to join us. I mean, you're going to fucking, you're going to screw up the hostess. Got a system going here. <laughs> Jamming up the ticket times. I I know, there's, they're changed. I already dropped my fries that in the back. So okay. somebody pops by uh-huh. and is chatting a little bit. It's more towards the bird, not really towards you. It's uh, her friend, let's mm-hmm. say. I start coughing real loud. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Anybody, is it hot in here? Start acting like I got COVID. <laughs> how long do you keep, what's the etiquette on how long do you keep conversation going before you start to bite, nibble a little bit? Okay, wow. What do you do? Very good. I can't believe this hasn't been broke. I'll tell you what I did. Yeah, I think it should be. Listen, <laughs> set, hello, <laughs> set hello with spaghetti in your mouth. Look <laughs> at my trough bag up. <laughs> you, st- you start eating hers. <laughs> you going to finish that? <laughs> I'll let you do talk. I, got a little I don't want to just get close. <laughs> surf and turf. They're making table side guacamole for you. <laughs> um, what do you do? Listen, man? here. here's my analysis of the situation. Because I got yelled at. That person... No, that person's in the wrong. If you're, t- if you're, f- they should go. Hey, just wanted to say hi. You know, well, well I'll text you later. I'll call you next week. Uh, hi, how you been? Okay. They should go. Oh shit, your food just got dropped. I'm getting out of the. F- I'm getting out of the way. That's what it should be. So I would. Uh, you give them ten seconds and then start- ten seconds. I gave them five minutes. My that's eggs nuts. were. My no, eggs that's were crazy. Cold. No, that's nuts. So I mean, dude, my eggs that's- start getting cold. No. So I start going not, yeah. in a little bit. All right, what kind of eggs are we talking? Scrambies. All right, if they were sunny side up or something, you got to move quick. <laughs> oh, man. Scrambies, I'll give you. I yeah. don't do sunny side up, man. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like they're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking be- <laughs> Is that a half a beak in there? Chicken with a lazy eye. I don't like that at all. I don't like sunny sides. I got to flip them. Listen. Yeah, you. Sh- I mean, five minutes. Any A minute is too long. It should be. They, they're in the wrong for holding you up, for sure. I got yelled at because I started eating. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, you know, it was breakfast. I was starving. Yeah, that's great. I mean, crazy. Can I ever have cold eggs before? <laughs> You're watching the steam disappear. You're like, uh, come on. Dude. You're bl- <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> come on. <laughs> Trying to get life back in him. Get a heat lamp out here. Yeah, man. Three. I gave him five minutes. Yeah, that's plus dirt bag, dirt bag like you. You know they're seating you by the door. That thing's open and closing. Oh, freezing. Yeah, that's tough. You can't. Uh, I, I mean, I would say. 30 seconds like they they should i mean that's nuts and then who are you denzel with <laughs> the equalizer <laughs> <laughs> then as you start eating they should take it as a sign of oh i'll let you that's kind of what i thought that's what that's what it should be it should because be like, i'm pretty good at okay m- moving, here we go moving people along sure aren't i yeah some would say mean, but okay. Yeah, rude. Thank you. It's good to see you. <laughs> hey, what was I hey, lady, my eggs are cold. Hey, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you start. You have any Tabasco on you? 
Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to get your opinion. No I, one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> She's dead. All right. Let me eat. The bank burned. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, that's. I, I took some heat for that. I, I kind of. Uh, listen, I understand all points of view in that. Like, sure. It is a little. You should just let them have the conversation. But also, she, to me, she's in the wrong. So if you give her any time, you're winning. And also, I think it is nice to go. Oh, I'm gonna cu- I'm gonna start eating my fucking. What'd you, what'd you do? What, what what was the complete breakfast? By the way, well, it was a buffet. To be honest with you. <laughs> okay. Well, no, okay. Well, that changes things. <laughs> Why? These are refillable eggs you got I wasn't here. Wasn't sitting at the buffet. <laughs> I didn't have a sterno underneath me. That changes it a little bit. It, well, it does. They're not made to order. No. So you could you could just what, get up and just get, throw the plate out. You could eat them and then go get warm ones. That's what I would have done. <laughs> Mix and put them back. <laughs> you stirring them. Yeah, stir these a little. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Which plate was it? Had you, Was this the first trip to the buffet? Oh, uh, good point. This is the second. If this is the I second. I resent that question. Had you had, a, had you had some bread or something already to start off? Excuse me one second. <laughs> That's a great question. Thanks for bringing that up. I would like to uh, Can you repeat that one more time? It was my first plate. Uh, yeah, they're in the wrong. Oh, that person's in the wrong. I understand it's, it's a little uncouth. Like, you should wait. Until conversation is over. But I was I was being involved in the conversation. I wasn't eating the way I would normally eat, you know. I, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you know, oh, yeah, I was given a little bit of that. You were faking it. <laughs> you did not care about whatever they were talking about. What? <laughs> Scrambies, Portuguese sausage. Let's yeah, go. Uh-huh. Get out of here. No, yeah, you're not wrong. I agree. You're, you, you're, you're a better man than me. I would have went quicker. But I do get it. Yeah, fuck them, people. Fuck them. Keep it fucking moving, lady. Yeah. Um, what are you gonna do? That's I got something too. As uh, like we said, uh, we were we took a little bit of a, a little bit of a week long uh, vacay there, and uh, I was in uh, I was in Germany, and the, on the Rheinstein. And I this is you know uh, a a big topic on this. One of the early questions has been like, what do you do when you go to someone's house and they ask you to take your shoes off? Sure. You know what I mean? Of like, do you do it? Do you not do it? What's the? Do you do it if people come over your house? And my my rule of thumb has always been like surprised the Germans are into that. The vet it's shoes off everywhere. Really? Restaurants. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's all boots. <laughs> um shoes off. You go into someone's house, it's shoes off. And really? we're, I'm over there seeing a lot of friends, a lot of relatives, so it's like Now you this isn't your first rodeo over there. Did you anticipate that with some fresh socks? Are you yeah. walk, are you walking in with the with the holies? No, I, I I copped some fresh socks when I got over there. Good man, because I didn't have because all mine have been chewed by the dog. Uh, man, that goddamn thing's costing me about ten grand a year in socks. And she lets them <laughs> fuck. It's like my my biggest pet peeve: fresh pair of socks, warm one time. I take them off and they're next to the couch or whatever. Next thing I know, they're playing fucking tug of war with my with my socks. Well, freak, a little foot fetish over there. So huh? this is um. <laughs> <laughs> Takes after his daddy. <laughs> Tongue's got a little weird in him, huh? He is German. Um, Hello. So we had gone to. Ball gag and a butt plug? <laughs> <coughs> now Not sing, now. Now things are getting kinky. Um, so we had gone to one or two homes, and it's like, to me, I, I get it if you're there, but it's like, if you're coming in for a minute, keep them on. You know, that's just that's just my my cup of tea. Mm-hmm. If you're coming over, you're popping by for a beer. Uh, you know, hey, you, you know, popping by for a beer. Now, nah, beer, you got to if it's if it's no shoes in the house, you can't go in and have a beer. Yeah, you can. I no. mean, if I'm like walking to the couch and sitting, if I'm like, you know, if I'm no. doing laps in the house, the shoes come off. But if I take ten steps and sit down at the kitchen table, I feel my shoes should stay on. No, I, okay. Maybe I'll give As you. A the, I'll, I'll give you the kitchen maybe because it's 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 not carpeted. Once you step on the carpet, if it's a no shoes household, Listen, that 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 seal has been broken. That's I, the whole point. I think you defer to your guest. You go, hey, you're wait. You know, I don't want to make you take your shoes off. I'll I'll vacuum when you leave. That's part of having people. It's over. not about vacuum. It's about germs. That's what. That's why they do it. But you vac. Listen, we all walk around with our shit. Like, what are we doing here? That's where we're drawing the line. That's crazy. So what happened? So here, I go. We go over our one friend's house. We went out to dinner, mm-hmm. right? Uh, had a nice schnitzel, couple of fucking hefeweizens. Mm-hmm. We go back to their house for one, and they're like, "Oh, let's wait," because we went in like the neighborhood. They're like, "Let's walk back. You can see the apartment, and um, we'll uh, you can have you know we'll have a beer. We got beers at the house." I said, "Perfect." We walk in, shoes start coming off. I'm like, fucking yeah, I forgot about this. Now I got 
I got a couple heavy beers in me. I got to bend down, fucking take, untie my shoes. I got high tops on. It ain't, it ain't easy. You have to unlace? Uh, I can get, I should, yeah, at least. Really? Are you, those are slip right on and off, right? Yeah, oh, they're, yeah. They're you low know, tops. I have Who's tying their laces anymore? I, that's high not a, that, that's high not a tops, you got to. You gotta. Um, I thought the kids now did the high tops where you're there. Listen, I'm no kid. I tie my shoes. They're just always tied. Who are you, Larry Bird? <laughs> Lacing up for the. Never regionals? know when you need to pump fake. <laughs> Man, it'd be weird, real tight. No, I don't do that. But yeah, yeah I mean, they're they're loose. I can get them off, but to get them back on, I need a shoehorn. <laughs> Listen, I can't I can't put my head below my waist for that long. Man, wait, wait, wait. It would take me three years to get a pair of laced high tops on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So why are you breaking my balls? How do you? I, you're not you're not a head, big guy. What are you talking about? How do you guys tie? Thank you. How do you guys tie your shoes? Do you make the loops and then put them together, or do you do the? Like wrap them together. Loops. I do the loop, swoop, and pull. You do. You, <laughs> oh, no, you, do, you do double loops, dude. No, no, no you... I loop it, and then I swoop it, and then I pull. Single knot. Yeah. I'm not a child. I've uh, my, my the the bird does two loops and then ties those. That's two what I'm loops. talking about. That's the trashiest way to do that's it. That's elementary that's what, school. That's what seven. Did she put her jacket on in front of her and do that too? That's she does crazy. double loop. No shot. I just know does that. Does she sing she, the song about the bunny ears? I just too? I just know that because she has to tie my shoes sometimes. Uh, if I have well, dress maybe shoes on. If I had to tie someone else's shoes, I'd probably do double loop because you're you? looking at it inverted. I don't know if I'd be able to know the rhythm. You're like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. <laughs> I'm come down from the ceiling. <laughs> um, so uh, we get to the house and uh, listen. This is this is what they uh, T Bone pull up the picture. This is what they uh, this is what they offer their guests. Show the show the other one first. Oh, they have slippers Whoa. for their guests. I thought you didn't take your shoes off and you were going to show me an email of them. We didn't appreciate your husband <laughs> with his dirt. Ke- Kevin, in quotation. <laughs> with his muddy shoes on. I'm <laughs> tracking like a plumber. Just got it from the marsh. No, so they have uh, they have like an assortment of sizes. Whoa. They probably had about 10 pair. And they were like, yeah, we don't have guests over that much, but we have this, you know, if you want. And, dude, I got to tell you, it made the nightcap real cozy. <laughs> I was I was curled up on the couch. I was speaking German you by the end the of the night. night before Christmas. Oh, man. It was all right. That is classy right there. I, I mean, like, I was a Some little. Some nice slippers will change your mood. Sure. Buddy, sure. I was like, I'm not fucking wearing this. And then I put them on and all my fucking, all my troubles slipped away. It's like slipping into a warm. Warm bath, dude. It was all right. That's real classy yeah, right there. It was man. great. And then they had they have a bunch hanging. Wow. Four pairs they had there, and everybody had already had a pair on. So they probably have seven, eight pair. Man, that's and really good. They are probably re they like clean them or whatever. I don't know what they sure. do, but it's like great. Whatever. Yeah. It was fan. I'm telling you. Yeah. I might do it. Those are real nice too, whatever they are. Uh huh. They're like felt or something. They're not like, you know, but they I dude, I gotta tell you, change the night. Change no my kidding. perspective. Now yeah. if I go I mean Oh, was she, you felt at home? You felt like you were at your home. What's guy. the rule with the, with the new spot, by the way, with the house? Are you no shoes? Are you going to go no for, shoes? For me? For, like, let's say when you have the house warming or whatever. Oh, shoes on, yeah. Shoes on school? Yeah, I'll, va- I'll clean, I'll vacuum. I'll what mop. if I come over on a Sunday afternoon and watch the game or something like that? It's just like two or three of us. She gonna start busting balls, saying, "Take your shoes off." No, I don't think it's a hurt. Better make rule. with the slippers. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I'm gonna do that. Clogs or something. That dude, that's real. Cl- you're, Everybody's you're... wearing Birkenstocks at my house. <laughs> your no. family's not gonna go for that, though. Oh, they would disown me if I made my brother put on a pair of felt slippers that someone may or may not have worn. Are you kidding me? We'd be fighting in the backyard. No, my I wouldn't ask anybody to take their shoes off unless it was like raining. I'd be like, "Yeah, take them off if we're like hanging out," but. Sure. You know, yeah, keep your shoes on. That's on the homeowner to then okay. clean up. That's the way I see it. The, the real trash way to go about this is you just get those shitty, fl- like, boardwalk flip-flops. You oh, yeah, everybody yeah, the running, thong ones. Yeah, everybody running around oh. in shower shoes. You mean the thong ones that go in the toe? <laughs> yeah. I can't wear those. They kill me. Why? I don't know. My feet just don't work with those things. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a big, not a big flip flops guy. I do, I do the Crocs, my prescription Crocs, but I can't wear regular Crocs because they cut into my legs. Cut into my feet, but I tell you what, a pair of those I would have walked out of the house with them. Buddy, I'm telling you, it was it 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 had really changed my perspective on hospitality. Yeah, that was like walking into like a. I felt like I was at the Four Seasons or something. 
great. That's all right. It was really good. Shout out to him. Um, You're running with some classy people. Yes. Okay, let's talk about rocket money. Rocket money. Let's talk about gang. Is cash leaving your pocket quicker than you know what to do? Oh do yourself a favor. Chances are... You're paying for subscriptions that you don't even know about. Mm-hmm. You don't even use. Yeah. What's that all about, Kevin? I don't know. That's right. Well, you know you can solve it. Get over there at Rocket Money, personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, mm-hmm. and helps you lower your bills. Look at that. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Hachi machi, saving members up to Ship seven our way. <laughs> saving members up to $740 a year when using the app's features. That's a lot of money you don't want to leave on a table. Mm-mm-mm. I downloaded it and I didn't realize I was uh <laughs> butt plug of the month club. I was signed up for butt plug of the month club. Again, they got me. I keep I keep getting drunk and signing <laughs> up. Uh, all you do is download the app it shows all your subscriptions in one place. If you want to unsubscribe to something, Rocket Money uh, can help you cancel with just a few taps. Here's the turkey. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash garbage. That's rocketmoney.com slash garbage. Rocketmoney.com slash garbage. Do it. Mm Mm-hmm. Kip, this is Aura Frames. Aura Frames. We're big fans of Aura Frames over here. Yeah, we and are. are you go- <laughs> <laughs> big frames, Aura fans. We're big fans, man. You like it. Hey, you want to keep your uh, your grandma, your aunt off your back about, we don't see pictures of the baby anymore. Hit it with an Aura Frame and Tony shot it. Hey, hit it with an Aura Frame, baby. You throw it up there. You can upload the pictures. It's unbelievable. It's a digital photo frame that comes with unlimited storage and easy to use controls so you can upload as many photos as you want and your family can pick the perfect ones to show off and they can zip it yeah uh we all said every woman in my life has gotten an aura frame for christmas hanukkah birthdays mother's day take it put it on put one upstairs put one downstairs don't forget what the kids look like just think of all the pictures your family didn't get to see you striking out at little league or whiffing it at the soccer oh, field right uh <laughs> right now you can save on the perfect gift smoking heaters under the bleachers <laughs> <laughs> That was private. The <laughs> gift that keeps giving by visiting AuraFrames.com for a limited time. All you garbage listeners can get $20 off their best-selling frame with the code garbage. That's AuraFrames, A-U-R-A frames.com. Promo code garbage. Terms and conditions apply. Yeah. But all that's neither here nor there. We got a gosh darn family episode on mm-hmm. our hands, gang. As you know, when you sign up on the old Patreon over there, we will oh, yeah. answer your garbage question yes, on the air. Uh-huh. The homies get the first crack at it, baby. Um, all right, this one's from Pepperoni Tony. <laughs> Shout out to him. Twenty dollar bozo. Hey, that's big good. spender. Is it garbage for your mom to tell you your dad isn't your real dad over a plate of nachos and three dollar margaritas? <laughs> I don't think there's a better time to tell you. How old were you? That's, that's <laughs> seven. You got a margarita in a sippy cup. Uh, you got good news and bad news. I mean, if there's a time. <laughs> good news is the nachos are hot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I would want to receive bad news over a plate of nachos and sure. fucking booze. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's complete garbage. I don't know. <laughs> she cares about them. Also, this poor bastard who's been taking care of you. True. Yeah, I wonder what the sitch was, whether he was good, bad, whatever. Yeah, I think at a certain point you just keep that all under wraps. Yeah, but then it comes out. It always comes out on a deathbed or later, and then you're like, you lied to me for 50 years type thing. Yeah. I, you got to, I don't know. I don't. No deathbed confessions ever. I'm calling it. You take, it to, <laughs> take it to the grave. Because yeah, that's but- just throwing a hand grenade and dipping out. You know what I mean? <laughs> they got to deal with that. Uh, you ain't. My kid, <laughs> deal with this. Yeah, no. I never understood that even like cold cases. People start talking after like 27 years. They're like, I just, my conscience. I'm like, you made it this far. Keep yeah. drinking. Lady, you know what I mean? put on Judge Judy and zip it. What I are you know. doing? Those are fucking... your chains to carry, my friend. Yeah, don't you be know? fucking, don't be hot potato in your fucking guilt to me, all right? We all, we all, we all killed that guy together. <laughs> hey, honey, you made your bed. Don't ruin my happy hour. You know what I mean? Listen, unless it's about cash. We got in sizzling the- fajitas <laughs> coming. Yeah. Unless it's about cash in the walls, zip it. Yeah, Man, keep, love keep cash any- in the walls. Man, the idea of cash in the walls. Mm-hmm. I don't have any relatives like that, though. Or that might be a possibility. I know Patty ain't got it. Maybe she does. Be a credit card bill <laughs> behind some drywall. It's kind of it's kind of like that Seinfeld thing. Like, you think my parents have money? What do they spend money on? Nothing. What vacation they ever go on? Nowhere. You're st- you're telling me I stand to an error at two hundred fifty thousand dollars. 
Uh, then you start spending it. Yeah. Pierre Cardin. <laughs> oh, man, I just want to. Drop a grand to Disney World like, like that. Ah. Um, all right, let's see here. This one's from the Dizzy Sizzly. Are you garbage if you donate blood because you don't have health insurance and figure? They'll call me if there's anything terribly wrong. <laughs> that's uh, that's the m- most brilliant thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Treating your health care like a soft credit check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If they if they need me, they know where to find me. That's pretty <laughs> Fucking good. Fucking patient zero over That's here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That uh, I mean, that is very sound logic, don't you think? Or are they testing it for like diabetes and stuff? I don't think they're checking your cholesterol. Can they give diabetes? Can you get diabetes in a blood transfusion? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Um, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's all right. Um. I have things like that too. I I treat the mail like if I receive letters. We were talking about that before. I sometimes I don't open my mail for a long time, mm-hmm. and I'm like, if they would have found if me, it was that important, if that if it was that important, something yeah. would have been shut off. They would have taken my car. <laughs> they'd be fucking. There'd be they'd repo my house. Something. That's why there is nothing more frightening than getting a we missed you. You have a certified letter at the post office. Dude. Which, that's I, never getting picked up. Dude, All right? I get stuff. My So I used to live with my boy, and I'll still receive official documents from time to time at that address. I haven't lived there in fucking six years. Yeah. And he'll send me a picture like, hey. And I go, buddy, delete <laughs> this. Why are you? <laughs> you know, Who are you working <laughs> yeah, for? Yeah, what the fuck? They got to you, huh? Uh, yeah. I'm like, now now I know. <laughs> like, plausible deny. I ain't never seen that. I ain't never lived there. No. I, don't, I don't even know you, dude. No. Kick rocks with I that. I don't like anything like that. Mm-hmm. I, we're both really scared with that stuff. What? And anything like that? Any a, a number calling you? Sometimes a number I'm, you don't know. Sometimes I'm like, just get me. Okay, you want? I've been wait. I've been. I've been running long enough. You want the war? Bring it to my front door, baby. I'll go to the goddamn mattresses. <laughs> I'll tell you, the guy whoever had my apartment before me is jammed. Really? Up. I get this red letters for this. Listen, Raymond's got some financial yeah, troubles, and I don't think he knows about them all. Also, I guarantee you, yeah, good like, for him. Yeah, he. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Yeah. Plum. You're the guy's best friend. Right in the trash. The guy who starts snooping around. I, I'm going to talk to the landlord and make sure he gets this. This might be important. Mm-mm-mm. I'm like Sinbad in First Kid. I'm taking that bullet, dude. <laughs> Great movie, by the way. Fantastic movie. Um, Shout out to Sinbad. Come on. Let's go. What are we doing here? I met him. I know. Uh, my first television debut, Channel 897. <laughs> Thank you very much. Gotham Comedy Live. Gotham Comedy Live. Um, all right, let's see here. In the same uh in the same vein a little bit. This is from uh Bacon Grease Coffee Can, which is the the, the actual receptacle for the official receptacle for bacon grease. We right? never did it, but uh, I know a lot of people that did it. We did it. My Denise still does it. It's it Or it'll go in some sort of can. It kicks up the kitchen sometimes though. No, like you come in and it smells like old old breakfast. No, you put it in the freezer. That's uh, what Denise my, does. My my buddy's family used to leave it on the on the stove. And they would cook with it. Ooh. Yeah, they would no. cook with it. I don't need to know. That's crazy. Yeah, his mom, Squirrel and such. His mom would cook with it. Mm-mm. I mean, I get it. That's what you're supposed to do. The they, food did, came out great. Did but they the strain kitchen, it? I don't think so. Oh, eating charcoal and shit in your eggs? No, thank you. And <laughs> you're fucking... <laughs> you got ash in your grilled cheese? Yeah, she used to make biscuits with them. They were unbelievable, but the kitchen just always smelled like old bacon. Yeah, that can be time. And heaters, because both the parents smoked, and it was always freezing in there. Mm-hmm. Benson and Hedges, they smoked. Smelled like old bacon, Benson and Hedges. I would love to go back and smell what my dad's house smelled like. I just grew up with smokers, so I didn't know mm-hmm. any, and it didn't smell like smoke to me. See, I have a. I have it was a, just normal, but I'm sure if I if you drop me back in there right now, yeah. Oh, oh I can still smell my grandma's house. Yeah, dude. so can I was gonna say I have I have a really strong uh, nasal nostalgia connection, almost a superpower. Some would say. Yeah, but your grandma's makes sense because you didn't live there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I lived in it, so it's like I didn't. I I smelled it ever all day. That's just what my dad's house smelled like. My grandma's house smelled like cigs. Coffee and heated games of Scrabble in the kitchen. I was just thinking, man, we used to get drunk and play Scrabble. That was a good time before we go to the bars down the shore. A couple of lady killers. We'd go to the beach and then go back on the porch and play, get drunk and play Scrabble before we went out. Man, 
couple of derelicts. A lot of titties and ass yeah. on that. Yeah. yeah. Spell- Was. <laughs> That's an upside down M. Spell- <laughs> spelling charcuterie with an S and shit. <laughs> shark ootery. Yeah. Just throw an S on the end of something. Oh, that was <laughs> my oh, move. That's how I made my living. You Go kidding on. me? Woo. <laughs> All right, this one's from Adam Fries. Never have one read. Is it garbage to win a trip on a radio station? When I was 15, I entered a local radio contest for Father's Day to win my dad a trip to Reno to the Bunny Ranch. It wasn't until he <laughs> took the trip that someone told me that it was a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy that they did that. <laughs> it must have been Playboy Radio or something. Yeah. What the hell? That's nuts. This had to be, I mean. How was a radio station allowed to do that? It had think, to be in Nevada. You got to think it was 20 years ago. If this guy's 15, he's probably at least 30. So yeah. you got to figure it's 15, 20 years ago. That was. That's not that long ago. Thir- if it was 78, I would understand. Maybe it was. Maybe he's an older gentleman. Whoa. But that's nuts. I wonder if the old man went. He said it wasn't until he went that I found out it was a bra. He comes out with a toothpick. Ah, you're a good kid, huh? <laughs> Best birthday present I ever had, son. <laughs> That's fucking nuts. Hey, hey, don't tell your mom about this. <laughs> you're, you're a real bitch. Real, real party pooper, this one. Hey, anybody asked, we were at a Cubs game. <laughs> <laughs> if your mother asked, tell her Gravedigger won, all right? Shut up. Man, yeah. I always I had Q one oh one the cheat. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Dude. Jesus Christ. Tune into the adulterer. Yeah. Uh that's crazy, man. A couple of tickets to the massage parlor. <laughs> now do you think that, that that's a thing where it's like, hey man, we'll get you there, but you gotta pay for your own party. Pro uh Yeah, I wonder what that no, is. Or do you get some type of per diem? It was probably <laughs> dude, if you think about it all as you know how like that was a promotion that the Bunny Ranch probably paid for. So it was like, Hey, tune in next Thursday. We're you enter to win the to the Bunny Ranch, you'll probably get a four hundred dollar gift certificate or something. Sure. You had to pay you had a tip cash probably. You know what I mean? Dude, that's crazy. Who advertising ain't the same as it used to be, <laughs> oh, up man, boys. It, was, man. it was wide open. They knew how to get him in the doors back then. How nuts would that be if this was like five years ago? <laughs> that's, uh, like, that's, awesome. that's like winning a trip to Pablo Escobar's <laughs> house. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Good time, well, we just bro. played Scrabble. <laughs> Man, that is all right. But when I was a kid, did you ever make it? Did you ever try? Did you ever try to? You ever try to win anything? We were never allowed to call the radio station. Not we- in the sense of like, uh, they just thought that's how they get you. Like you don't. That's for sucker. You're not calling. They'll have your name. But you know, don't do any. I did as a kid. Want I always fantasize about winning. You know. Hitting, hit, hitting pay dirt with K dirt or whatever it was. Sure. Nah, we never. I never. Some Ford Fairlane. Very underrated movie. The only thing we did that uh, we the Wing Bowl was huge in our family. Huge in our family. Yeah, it was. And you it, dirt bag. Uh, I mean, every morning we listened when they were getting ready for it. They would do the Wing Bowl is a wing eating contest in Philadelphia that took place the Friday morning before Super Bowl Sunday, and. To get into it, you had to do some sort of stunt eating. I remember the one guy ate like 12 cans of cream corn in under like eight minutes, and he puked all over the studio. It like ruined the board and stuff. <laughs> he got like nine down. Uh, it was El Wingador was the big guy. Who Joey Chestnut, I who, think, was the other big guy. Who we, Joey Chestnut was in that? I believe so. In the, Back in the day? In the later years. No kidding. Shout out to El Wingador. He was running it when yeah. I was there. That Black Widow chick was in it. Or, Wait, hold on. Um, who She's was that? good. Was that WMMR that did that? No, that was 610 WIP. Ah, that's right. Rate, that's Andrew right. Cataldi that's right. And, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that was the biggest thing in Philadelphia. Me, I mean, it was Everybody huge. knew about that that day. We'd be in school talking about we it. We went. My dad took me. I must have been nine, that's eight or nuts, nine. man. Took me down to the electric factory, the E factory. Was there the... The electric factory. The electric factory. Um, that is garbage, dude. Man, taking your nine-year-old to that. Well, we watched every, we listened every morning. We were religious, so he would take my brother. There was boobies at that thing. Oh, there was. Yeah, there. Ain't was. talking about yours either. Uh, yeah, I mean, there were, we were. My dad was getting looks of like, "You have children." Like we were, we were, we were the youngest by like fifteen years. Like we were way too young to be there. <laughs> he's got that Benjamin Button disease. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually, th- he's actually thirty-four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm catching a heater. I'm going to get beers. You need one? Uh yeah, it was uh it was a sight to be seen, but um 
That was the only thing. That was the only radio thing we partook in. Was was that? We never went to those like free concerts or anything. Like uh, they would always have like the free concert and the whatever. We never never partook in any of that. Mm, I just wanted to win. I wanted to get on the air. You know what? I I, I remember as a kid, I got like my hands on some. I don't know if they were like skate, but it was some sort of magazine, and they had stickers in the. Remember, like there would be like classified ads in the back of magazines. Yeah, I do. Uh, no, but they were for like companies. It would be like. You can get these stickers or a oh man and I would I remember like I'm going to save up money and I remember like that was like my wish list going through those things. It was mm-hmm. like a dirt bike, maybe like a quad magazine, I don't know what the fuck it was. The but thing- I wanted cool stickers and my mom never let me get them. The things in the back. Patty was big on my brother did this cuz he was very uh not astute. He was like a good like student and like you know, he was organized. Um good kid. But he would something in school was like you know if you send a, if you if you write a letter to uh, Hubba Bubba Gum Company they'll send you five packs never. and all that stuff. Yeah, he had. To, I never had the patience to do it. I would how just how steal, am I gonna get a stamp? I'm I would seven. Just, I would just steal money out of my mom's purse <laughs> yeah. to go get myself a pack of Bubblicious. Mm-hmm. Get my head on straight. I called a lot of corporations. Yeah, I'm not waiting. I'm not gonna wait six you weeks. Called a lot of corporations with fake complaints to get f- coupons for free shit. That's how old crazy you? to me. In high school, 15, 16, we called everybody. Oh. Yeah, dude. Man. Kraft Mac and Cheese. Told them that we- now, what other grandmothers were you hanging around I with know, at the time you were nuts. doing this? You and the girls come up with this at bingo one night? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, dude. I respect it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just couldn't do it. I was too dumb. You can call any they all, any product has a number on the back. You call them. You say, yeah, it tasted like shit. I think now. but And now they'll, they'll send you like a cheap coupon. But back in the day, I'm telling you, they would like send you like you'd get like a case of Miller Lite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's great. The cashiers at, uh, <laughs> at at the Stop and Shop were not stoked. Sure. I just watched that movie, um, ah, something Queens, it, with um, Sarah Marshall. She was in it. Uh, Vince Vaughn was in it. Like, there were coupon queens. Queen Pin, I think it was called. Pretty good. Yeah, it's a cute movie. But she had a coupon scam going. I was uh I was I was a cashier at a supermarket. Shout out to Acme. Uh, well aware. Uh, when that when the coupon craze, uh, what was it? Extreme couponers or whatever it was like the TV sh- man and people would come in. I got this. You double match that, and it was like fucking mayhem. And I it's like I, a casino dealer. I never really understood them. Like, yeah, I don't you, get it. You really had either. to do something because the store. If you come in with a there was manufacturer ones and then store ones. And the store will match the manufacturer one. So if the manufacturer comes in with 50 cents off, the store has to match it or something. And I, I don't know why they do that. I had to do something manually. Just make it cheaper. That I never understood. And I never, I would just go, I'd scan it. That was the only thing I knew how to do. I'll scan it. Whatever comes off, comes off. If you, need, if you want something special, you go to the next guy. This ain't my. And I remember people would fight with me. This should be 80 cents off. And I go, oh, buddy. All I know how to do is scan the thing. I ain't got got no override button here. Pal, I'm drunk. (laughs) I'm a fat kid with a bad haircut. What do you want from me? My break was seven minutes ago. What am I, a CPA? Oh, man. I also remember I had to study for that test to all the produce and the codes, and I thought that was going to be the most important thing in my life. I remember the anxiety. Taking the bar exam? (laughs) The anxiety I had about fucking... What a, what a fucking vine tomato was. Oh, my God. Except they gave you a Meanwhile, gun. I didn't eat vegetables at the time, so I'm like, dude, this, is, this might as well be from another planet to me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the things you think matter when you're a child or a young adult at any point is all this shit we've worried about. Nothing. Even a year ago, two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. doesn't matter. The SATs. I remember stressing over that. <laughs> yeah. Did nothing for me. Sure. Well, if you aced them, you could have been a doctor. I remember you? when I flunked out of college, I was like, man, this I'm done. This is it. Well, you kind of were. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we're, if we're calling balls and strikes here, you, you had a rough 30 years. That's when I really started <laughs> spinning things. It's not like you dropped out of college because you made Facebook or something. <laughs> 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 you, fucking, you were down and out for about three decades. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. If, if we did, if this didn't hit, we'd be screwed. I'd be back in college. <laughs> Still got three years of eligibility left. Yeah, you're lucky you got Kippy and fucking Taryn T Bone on your hands. <laughs> Taryn T Bone's all right. I <laughs> thought about it the intro and really waiting to squeeze it That's in. That's pretty good. That's really good. <laughs> I, I smell a new shirt coming. <laughs> 
Oh, God, that was all right. Oh, yeah. Kip, it's Butcher Box, baby. Shout out to the box and a bunch. Woo-wee, but with us since Jump Street. Still got my fridge stocked with I know. quality meat. Quality. Gang, meat. don't be going to the grocery store like a ding dong. All right. You want farm fresh. You want grass fed. You want grass finished. You want wild caught. You want free range. You want all the good stuff. And you can get that over there at Butcher Box. They send it right to your house. You put it right in the freezer. When you're ready to use it, you take it out, throw it in the sink. Boom. You got a meal ready to go. Yeah, it's fantastic. I uh, I even shared a wealth. I'm like Frank Lucas on my floor. I'm giving everybody free turkeys, ground <laughs> beef here. You want it, you take it. Have it. Uh, now, here's the real turkey. Uh, with ButcherBox, you don't have to worry about what's for dinner. ButcherBox is offering our listeners their choice of a weekend, a weeknight meal essential kit, baby. That's three pounds of chicken thighs, two Nuts. pounds of ground beef, or one pound of premium steak tips for free in every order for a whole year. <laughs> I don't know how these people are making money. They're being going to be in a poor house giving away all this high quality shit. Jesus. Uh, plus, you get twenty dollars off for your first order. If that was, if the, the one pound of steak tips in every order ain't enough, you get Talk twenty bucks off the first order. Those steak tips are all right. Sign too. up today at butcherbox.com/slash/ayg. Use the code ayg to choose your free offer and get twenty dollars off. Do it. Yeah. Kip, this is freeze pipe. <laughs> Shout, out to, Shout out to ripping bangers. Don't tell my mind. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Gang, getting lit up is a good time. Let's be honest. You Responsibly want, and legally. Of course, you want to do it in the most relaxing way. Getting the right high is all about relaxing. You can't relax if you're hacking up a lung every time you take a pull, as they call it. Like virgin lungs over here. Upgrade to a freeze pipe and get all the fun without the throat burn, chest pain, or coughing attacks. Their secret is the freezable glycerine chamber. Mm-hmm. What do you know about that? Glycerine. Glycerin. <laughs> Glycerine. Uh, Glycerine. That was my jam, dude. Listen, I you can do me. You want to feel cool? You know, I'll be I'll be in the car with my boys <laughs> riding around, going hanging out, and I'll pull out a little freeze pipe. Woo! Everybody's having a heater, dipping his in. I pull out a freeze pipe, really flex on these hoes. <laughs> uh, it's a no brainer. It's a, it's a, it's a way better experience. It's super fun to bring out of parties, yes. and there's no more coughing attacks. American Hate owned. That. American owned, baby. Boots Look on the that. ground with over a hundred thousand happy customers freeze pipe is your solution to smoke like royalty without paying a king's ransom there, there you go <laughs> hey boston tea party don't forget <laughs> shop now at the freeze coming for you shop now at the and use the code garbage for 10 percent off your entire order that's the free that's the freeze and the code garbage for 10 percent off order today to get free shipping and say goodbye to the harsh smoke forever Ooh. now back to the show back to the show all right let's see this one's from queefer sutherland <laughs> that's good yeah He's an OG, ten dollar OG investor. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you. Uh, is it garbage if your in-laws moved into an RV next to the house while they were building it for a few months, and it's been their home for more than two years now? Common occurrence. It happens more than you think. On well, paper, that makes sense. The main problem is the raccoons took over the home. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, it's now their domicile. <laughs> they, they moved into. They they parked it on his property, it, not on theirs. Uh no, I think on theirs. Okay, uh, next to their home. Okay. Yeah, he didn't yeah. say mine. Next to their home. Yeah, that make that that people do that. The house they were building. That may, I mean, like, it makes sense. But I'm also the kind of guy, and like, I'm starting to realize this now with my wife of like, the kind of guy I am, and I don't do stuff. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I would be like, hey. At this point, I'm not moving in the RV because I know I'll never move out. I've learned that about myself. You get in there, you get real cozy. I know, and you go, oh, I got to build a house. I'm not fucking, my bed's right here. I got I to gotta finish building the house. Like, I would just live. I mm-hmm. take the, the path of least resistance, and I would just be living in that fucking Yeah, there's RV. a clock ticking on that if it doesn't go up. and You got you to be close. You got to you gotta be furnishing it. I'll you, give you You got to put it in the backyard, too. You can't have that shit on the side of the driveway. That kills everybody else's property value around you. Mm-hmm. And then that construction starts lagging. You, you know what you, I mean? You get the, behind on bills you got, or You something. got the plastic up, and that's waving in the breeze. That gets torn. That gets tattered. That starts looking real creepy. Man, my neighbors had that toe behind pop-up camper as a kid, and that was the coolest thing to me. Man, I can still smell it. We would crawl around. Until the hornets that. got you. Uh, we'd crawl around in that thing. <laughs> smells like good times. <laughs> Like we we wouldn't pop it up. It smells like sex from the seventies. We would just get the key and open the door and then like fucking root around in there. Man, oh man! Like a couple of possums. <laughs> I'm fighting other raccoons in there. Uh, all right, let's see here. Um, 
This one's just funny. This from this one's from Kips Ahoy. First time, long time. Is it garbage? It's the first time you meet the AYG boys. They're at a comedy club, hammered off some cold ones, and he posts a pic. We are fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Where was this? At the stand. I don't even remember fucking being there. <laughs> but me and you got this guy around our arm, <laughs> under our arms, like we were. We're college buddies. <laughs> Great to meet you, buddy. <laughs> ah! oh, I love it. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one's from Isaac. Is it garbage if your entire family takes one last? Class- Collective gulp of their drink before leaving a restaurant. <laughs> oh, eyes real big. Yeah, right, give me one sec. I like you know me. I like getting out of there. When I'm done, I'm done. I'm the same. Way. I want. I want to get out. I want to keep it moving. Whatever it is, I want to keep it. Unless I got a heater on the horizon. Unless if we're, being we're hanging. But if it's like I'm, I don't like hanging at a table though. I a could, booth is different. If you're drinking at a booth with your boys, that's one for thing. For sure. But if you're at a restaurant table mm-hmm. and you have already eaten, you got to go. Let's go to the bar. Let's go next door. I can't sit there for fucking when I'm with three the, hours. When I'm with the bird, the clock in my head is just running. It's like, when can we get out of here? It's like 60 minutes. Yeah, dude. I want to get out. I don't know why. I just do. And she takes forever to finish her drink. I usually am crushing hers when we walk out. Mm-hmm. Um, I've done that a lot. That's like the go-to. If you're out at a bar drinking, specifically with your boys, uh, my brother a lot when we're on a heater sketch together. I'm gonna you go. Someone's like, I'm gonna go out. You're like, Oh, I'll go with you. And you have like half a beer out of a pint glass. Your eyes are you just, crush g- it. Give me a sec. Fucking teeth are and getting you're coming cold. back in fresh. Oh yeah. Start get, get some a, oxygen. Give in me you. a new one. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, yeah. Coming back after a heater to a fucking half warm beer. Get out of here. I've you. never. One, I'm nuts. I would never leave. I fresh beer. Like yeah. I'm killing my beer. I'm not leaving a beer somewhere. I I'm know. chugging it, going out. It's crazy. Heater like a gentleman, coming back, fresh beer for the kids. We're taking a beer outside. In the, if, you, if there's a bar where you can go outside, catch a heater. Brooklyn Comedy Club. <sighs> go outside, have a heater. It's all right. You're still standing on the street. Yeah. Well, I'm leaning over the round. I feel like a real outlaw. Yeah, it's all right. Have one going. Good times. You ain't lying. Uh, all right, Mr. Uranus, 2005, $10 homie here. Is it garbage have a forklift license, but not, not an actual driver's license? <laughs> That's all right. I mean, it's a blue-collar guy right there. Mm-hmm. He could be walking away. It sounds like a DUI. I didn't know you were allowed yeah, to. It sounds like you had one. Yeah. Because I don't think you can get a forklift license without having a driver's license. Can you license. see if that's the case? I'm sure you can. That can't be. Uh, I mean, it's not like, you know, you don't need to know the fucking... Street laws. I thought you had to have one before you get the other. I think like a CDL or something. It's like something. a bachelor than a match- master's degree. OSHA does not have a mandate that a forklift operators must also have a driver's license. Cool. All right. It's certainly helpful. Man. <laughs> Just say that. That's get, yeah. Get in your hand, dude. Driving a forklift. You ever driven a forklift? Nah. Oh, we're all right. They have like a a turning access where it's like the it's in the back, I think. Or I, man, they can fucking. I've been on one of those little got, pallet things. The pallets, the you, pallet jack. You stand on it. You stand on it. Yeah, you stand on it, and the pallet has a like oh, a pallet yeah, like in the a front. motorized pallet jack. Yeah, you zipped around on one of them. Yeah, just for a I minute. <laughs> I was never that guy. Sounds like a sweet carnival. Yeah. What were they doing? Restocking you? <laughs> <laughs> Putting me up on the high they, they, they were moving you, <laughs> moving you to more high traffic place. <laughs> like Hannibal Lecter, <laughs> taking me out of a buffet. <laughs> uh, and I was in a bobcat for about two minutes. And then but shit never, out. never really got to drive it. Uh, <laughs> and then shit, yeah. Like Captain Ahab. Bit off a little more than you can chew. <laughs> a big guy. And Anaconda spitting me back out. Yeah. Next time you think about that, uh, I'll never punk. forget when fucking John Voigt gets spit out by that anac- in Anaconda. Ooh. Man, that slime he has on him, icky. I think I was in college when that came out, and that scared the hell out of me. Yeah, frightening. Man, talk about a movie that you that does not hold up. But at the time, I was like all time classic, greatest oh, shit I've ever seen. It was amazing. Seen. Yeah, yeah. What I, th- I, the water that I would go in, I would never, like even lakes, I'm scared of. But if you were anywhere in South America, what body of water are you going in other than the ocean? Yeah, I only I did like a lagoon. Like, would you jump into Would you jump into a river in the fucking Amazon? Or, no, <laughs> I'm not even going there. Find me at the fucking piranhas. Got in my psyche real real young. They were big in the early uh, '80s. That hit nah, they, that. Yeah, they, those hit big. When you when you had to learn about them before you could see like a video, and they're like, "There's a fish that eats you." <laughs> no, thank you. That eats you like they're on meth. <laughs> I know. Not even casual. It's like the Foley's rolling up to a golden corral. <laughs> uh, 
You know what? I just saw a video. This I don't know where she is. It's somewhere. It's not in America. She's feeding the fish and like turtles with like it looks like she has like string cheese or something. And she's like, you know, she's at like a not like a lake, but man, I don't know, like a public uh, water. It's not a hot tub. It ain't a hot tub, but it's not the Amazon. It's like a looks like a city esque landscape of some kind. Okay. She's feeding it, and there's like turtles and the fish, and they're jumping around, and then this fucking monitor lizard comes. <laughs> Whips around the corner like the big guy with the long, real mm-hmm. Komodo dragon type stuff. I don't like him. You ever see them swimming? It's like little Godzilla. Yeah, attack their dude. This thing came out of the water. It was doing a wheelie. <laughs> no, thank yeah, you. I'm out. I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> um, nope. Nothing happened at the hotel pool. <laughs> Never would I jump in a river. A I river. Th- I, th- I fell into the Schuylkill one time when I was. Uh, they were dragging me on a boat. <laughs> That was a deep. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I owed some money around I, I, town. I heard the Gambinos. What do you mean dragging me from a boat? You know, whatever the tubin, the, the knee board. Yeah, tubin. Yeah, that's right, tubin. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> it was tubin. Yeah, it was tubin. <laughs> Cement on my feet. <laughs> sure. No, I was tubin, and my buddy whipped me around really hard, and I fell into it. That's a thing I freaked I out. I learned quick. I ain't getting on. I ain't tubin. Oh, I thought I was dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've the told you. The whole goal before. is to get fucked up. I was too fat to do that. Yeah. Didn't lie. I couldn't get up on the. Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's my. That's my motto. I I'm couldn't get up fat. on the water skis, so they put me in that. Uh, I was too young to even try. I did. I knew I didn't have the. And I thought the strength. eels and whatever it was in there was going to get me, and ugh, I didn't like it. Uh, first time we ever went water skiing. Shout out to the Poconos, Lake Wall and Paul Pack. No, well, we're up there, and uh, it's me, my cousin, who's a bigger guy, right? I was a. I was a. I was a fat kid. My cousin, who was a bigger guy. You were heavy as a kid? <laughs> all Funny, chubby- we're like 500 episodes in. <laughs> you're that little bastard. You're holding onto the rope. The boat's not going anywhere. <laughs> I got it pinned. <laughs> Any day now, guys. Any- Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, man, and my, uh, I couldn't, I you didn't couldn't even, get up. I didn't even try. I, they just, I laid on the, the knee board and they pulled Could me Could you around. get up now, you think? No, I told you, I tr- well, I tried uh, wakeboarding on a very low power engine in Columbia. I mean, they were, they were pulling me like I was in, like, like how he used to fish in Waterworld, <laughs> like how he was the bait. Do you remember that? It's a deep cut. But you, think, they, you think you could get up fully? I know I couldn't. He couldn't get on the boat. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to. It, I, no, I couldn't. Yeah, no, no, no I way. Get up. I think you could. No, buddy, He's I'm telling nuts. you, I know. I couldn't do it he when I was. He doesn't know fat lack of. You don't know the proportional strength you need to pull a body. Yeah, I don't even. I couldn't ever figure out how to like what the. He just says his girlfriend ties his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that was in private. Do, do you guys smell a, a, a challenge? Fu- a fun video for the summer. <laughs> I think I think you'd be able to do it. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, you'd be able to for do sure. it for sure. Have you um, ever water skied before? Oh yeah, yeah. And, and wakeboarded and shit. Okay, yeah. No, I, I, I got. I, I remember getting the heart. I I couldn't get up when I was I was little. I was maybe like eight years old, and I, we were out with the neighbors on their boat. I couldn't get up, and I was tweaking, dude. I was yeah. so frustrated and mad. The first time I tried it was down in Brigantine, down the Jersey Shore. My cousin's uh, grandfather. You have snow skis on. <laughs> He's just too heavy. He sank right to the bottom. <laughs> he got big bindings on and shit. Um, they were like big water skiers and stuff like that. We were out on the grandfather's That's boat. Cr- I don't think anybody's. Big, man. I mean, I was big in the eighties. That, that, like, that was in movies. Water skiing? Yeah. Huge. You just never remember they'd be on the pyramid. There'd be like ten people. How the hell those broads do that? Coke. I don't know. <laughs> it was the eighties. I mean, how do you even? How do you get up there? <laughs> That'd be like 15 broads. <laughs> Amphetamine, dude. <laughs> and then one guy holding one up by the that was, by that the tank. I mean, it was in most Rodney Dangerfield movies there was water skiing. But they put, we were, you know, like in the bay, like in those like alleyways with the marsh. Alleyways. <laughs> what are they called? Can, like canals and stuff. Dude, man, you had to get into the water. In the marsh. You oh, had yeah. to get in there. I don't mind doing any of that. Oh. Because whatever's in there is more afraid of you. Sure. That's what yeah. I tell yeah, it's fun. Yeah, but we, I was tweaking, and this other kid That's was. That's what they tell you in downtown Detroit. <laughs> get out of here. No, thank you. The other, and then another kid was also losing his mind, and. 
my neighbor's dad just got so fed up and drove back to the dock and was like, all right, everyone with a bad attitude, hit the dock, you're done. I respect that. And that kid got off, and I was like, yeah, get a load of that guy. I mean, he was really freaking out back there. And he was like, you too. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Have you not heard yourself, yeah, dude? Kick rocks, kid. You stink. <laughs> you're a tough hang. <laughs> Beat it. Man, I, I, can, I, can, I can see it. Uh, I just but- didn't like it when the boat pulled away and I was in there. Mm-hmm. Sure. And then they got to go all the way around and come back and get you. But, um, dude, so we were all in there. I couldn't get up. I didn't even try. I knew I couldn't get up. My my cousin couldn't get up. My sister. Kevin, who, put the cigarette out. <laughs> my sister, who was at the time a little, you know, she was a younger, younger, a little, you know, heavy set. And uh, we could we could make the world's greatest blue chew ad. Where it's like, can't get up. And it's just fully just getting, shit. Just getting pulled through a lake. <laughs> You pop a blue chew, pop right up. I'm on your shoulders. Water skiing <laughs> on my feet. So, dude, my, uh, I mean, we could nobody on the boat could get up, but my brother, who was like, you know, an athlete, he popped right up. And then, obviously, the showman that, you know, jerk off that he is, <laughs> he starts rubbing it in, dude. He's doing one hand and waving and shit. We're on the back of the boat. <laughs> fucking. Dude, everybody's, we, all the fat guys got their shirts on and stuff. Pull out a pair of scissors. <laughs> oh, yeah. dude, Danny's back there going in and out of the wake. He's got one. He's unscrewing the bar doing this. <laughs> he was fucking killing it. We were, my mom's going, oh, they're going to fucking kill him when he gets back. He's on got the, a leather jacket oh, on, like fought, the fun. Dude, we fought the rest of the weekend. The vibes changed. It was tough. <laughs> oh, God, that's right. fucking funny. Uh, all right, let's see here. We got time for one or two more. Hit me. Uh, um, this one I never even thought of. Pro move. This is from Kenny. Are you garbage if every time your check engine light comes on, you disconnect the battery to reset it? It's like it was never there. Jesus, that's rolling the dice. Why? I respect that. Because you, you're, you're going to break down eventually. I've never taken my check engine light seriously. Really? Mm, it's, oh, on right now my, it's on right now in my car. Which one? The new one? Uh-huh. What oh, the used. Hell? Really? Yeah. I got to get that thing in a shop, I think. Yeah, you think? I'm not good Nowadays, with that. Nowadays, it's a little different because, oh, it's just the terminal or the switchboard. Yeah, they something. plug it into the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But back then, I Dude, mean, that was that was a mayday. We're going down. Oh, no, my my Chevy Lumina, the light, when I got the car, the light was on, stayed on. I think it burned out at some point. <laughs> I swear to God, it just stopped going on one time. Yikes. Pat used to make fun of me because it would make noises. I would just turn the volume up and be like, well, this, you know, it'll figure itself out. That Man. car was that car was in such- Expert in denial. That, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that car was in such bad shape. On, I don't even know what was wrong with it. It was just fucked up. The, I had a set gear from the transmission or something was bad. And I was having problems with it, so I just, I didn't drive it for like, Three weeks. I'm going to turn it back on. Good as new. Yikes. Kind of healed itself. <laughs> the powers of the Chevy Loom. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I, I parked in a specific spot in the driveway, too. I'm like, this, this one feels good. We can it's the weirdest it. thing. Your engine was seized. <laughs> <laughs> now you got a Hemi in yeah, there. Now it's, now it's a turbo. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, we got to wrap it up, gang. Gang, we love you to death. Uh-huh. Again, thank you, everybody, for checking out the uh, the special. It's uh, it's available <laughs> on the Are You Garbage YouTube page. Check it out. We got Kippy's coming up next. Yes. We love you. Come out to a show. The first run of the show. Sure. We got Charlotte, Atlanta, Nashville, and Tampa. We're doing theaters in some markets. Get those tickets. It's a good freaking time. If you like the big man stand-up, you're going to love the live shows. We each do stand-up and play AYG with the crowd. It's a good time. It is. And get some uh, merch. Or are You Garbage? Got the are new you merch garbage. Drop. Com, the new store's up. We got uh, brand new designs. We got Aunt Tootie hats. It's a good time. Get them. We love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.